guys, my name is Lisa Grace and this is Nailcomer's YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy this video. Hello lovely people. Right, we are going to do something super, super colourful. Um, I've got eight colours that I'm working with today. Nine if we're including the white. Um, I'll go through them as I'm using them um and show you each one as we go along you can use any color combination i'm going for bright bold neon this is actually a uh, a photo that was sent to me by somebody who's like lisa can you recreate this so yes this is for you right so we've got the nail on there we are in the middle we've got the nail on and i've just done two coats of dove from the prophecy range and i'm going to come in and top coat Seal all of that on, all of that in is the word I'm looking for. Are we using the non white? Yes. The only top coat they do. Normal top coat they do, unless it's a fancy one. I still like that. Um, what was that one that we used? Was it called Wicked? The speckly one. Yeah. The black one. The It's like a matte, but it's, it leaves that satin finish. Can I pop that one then? Sorry, Lando, don't I just to kick you with my foot. I'm sorry, baby boy. No, oh, mommy just kicked me. Didn't mean to. You're sat under my desk, mate. It's going to happen. Uh, right, so I'm using my 8mm liner. It's my absolute favourite brush. I have loads of them because I'm always damaging them. Um, if you don't have this brush in your kit, you need to go and get it. This is my good one, actually. Where's my other one? Trap the other one under. This one's a bit battered now. Trapped it under my stole. And then I've got a couple of split hairs on there. But I can sort that. It's not a problem. Um, right. So, as well as your colours, first one we're using, Spicy, from the Prophecy Range. You are going to need your clear acrylic Genesis powder. I've got the world's largest tub in human history. Um, so, this mandala design, you can do any mandala design. Um, literally, just Google mandala designs. Find one that you like and roll with it. So I'm not going to bother getting a palette out just because I always forget how thick this one is. Prophecy uh, jam is thick, this, Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to use a palette just because we are using small amounts of each colour. So any excess I get, I'll plop on the back of my thumb. So thrum, thrum. I can't talk today. And we're going to do each colour at a time. Which one in shot? So you might struggle to see this one. Um, the green that I'm using next, I was, what's the green in that one called? I can't see it, it's up there. I was going to use the green that is also super, super neon in the Prophecy range. However, it's a little bit, this is not a criticism, it's a little bit too similar to the yellow. And I wanted to find something just a little bit more contrasting. Do we need to send more subliminal messages today? Yes, send... Green Dave, We need a neon, Dave, a neon green. Dave, I mean, I'll, show, I'll go and grab it in a second. While this is in the lamp, I'll go and grab it. Because it is a beautiful colour. I just wish it had a little bit more green pigment in it. When you pop it next to the yellow. I don't want to say it. It's a little bit samey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I said it. I said it. Right, bang that one in. Let me go and grab it. I think it's called Sour. What's this one called? Oh, it's called Juicy. Juice. That one's spicy. So, that's your spicy, which is like, holy hell. And the green, it's a beautiful green, but I just wish it was a little bit, just a little bit greener. Yeah. More of a yeah. More blue into it. Yeah. Yeah. Green there's not, there's not a huge amount of contrast between the yellow and the Subliminal the messages green. here. Green oh, green. Sam, what did I forget to do? Put your acrylic on it. What did, did get distracted by greens? Oh, right. I was supposed to. Um, where's my top coat? There. I was supposed to sprinkle clear acrylic powder on that before that went to the lamp. 
but uh, got distracted. So what I'm going to do is just quickly run over all of that yellow with a little bit of top coat and then we can emboss the top coat instead. Right, pay attention Lisa, we're only on the first colour and I've messed up already. Bit there, bit there, bit there, bit there, bit there, and a bit there. Right, okay, acrylic powder, cuticle pusher of some description or some kind of scoopy scooper. Load that on, tap off any excess. And now pop that in the lamp. That's what we should have done um, first time around. Otherwise my phone's going to die. Plug you in, there we go. Um, right, okay, so the green that we are actually going to be using, uh, the best colour I could find, <gasps> is beautiful. However, this is a little bit sparkly, but I don't think that's going to be too noticeable because we are going to be flocking on top of it. Um, it's not going to be too noticeable. It's nice that, isn't it? This, this, see, this is what I want. I like, I want like this, but like UV radiation, like illuminating off it. I actually want to paint a nail and hear it go. <laughs> right, give your nail a quick dust to get rid of the, yeah, you can see the effect that we were going for now. Get rid of any of that excess powder and then coming in with Vivid. I'm going to need more than what I've put on the back of my. I'm just going to frame the sun that we've just done. Do you reckon that's a sun or a flower? Or a sunny flower? No, I thought it was the sun, but it could, could be, a, be flower. a flower. It's a sunny flower. Yeah, see, I think this next bit is petals, so I think it is a, a flower. But if you want to do a sun, do a sun. If you want to do a flower, do a flower. If you want to do a skull and bats and stuff. Not on my fingers. <laughs> I'll do it on mine. You're allowed to do that in October and that's it. No, I refuse to let a calendar dictate my life. Every day is Halloween. Happy Halloween, guys! Yeah, yeah. Right, so each bit we do, we're going to cake that in our acrylic powder. Tap off any excess and give that a cure for me, please, Sam. Okay, our next colour, we've got like a bluey, greeny, greeny blue, bluey, greeny, watermelon. I love watermelon. This, this comes, it's, right, you know, it's like Michael Bublé only comes out at Christmas. Watermelon comes out in April. Everybody loves watermelon. Oh, it's a beautiful blue. Mm -hmm. And there's another one that's not too dissimilar. I can't remember the name of it. I can't remember. There's another one. And there we get ever so it's a little bit lighter and they go together gorgeously. I do like this one. Little blob of that. Are you dusting the nail off for me, Sam? Thanks. Well, you've got the polish Thanks. on, so you didn't want to get acrylic on it. It's all right. Right, so I'm going to frame this again. Add some small details to this one. I'm so happy the sun's shining. Can hear people cutting their grass. At least their lawnmowers are working. <laughs> your lawnmower works, you've just let your grass get too long. It's not your lawnmower's fault. Whose fault is it, Sam? Well, the fact that it, every time I went to get the lawnmower out, it rained. Again, it's not your lawnmower's fault, is it, Sam? Mother Nature. 
my grass got cut. I was going to say I've cut my grass, but I didn't cut my grass. My husband cut my grass. Okay, tap off excess into the lamp, please, Sam. 30 seconds. Right, so that was a watermelon. So our next colour, we've got a nice blue pawpaw. Pawpaw, this is always popular as well. This was, nice, this was a nice one to use at Christmas as well, like with all your snowy scenes and stuff. Oh, yeah. Pretty, that's isn't a, it? That's a me sort of blue, that is. Yeah. It's like Cinderella blue, isn't it? Mm. That's pawpaw. Pawpaw. I just like saying pawpaw as well. Oh, Reminds me of the dog. Is there a dog called like a chow chow or something? Yeah. No, oh, you chow chow. Uh, dust off your acrylic powder. Okay, so with our purple. My body's in the way when I come at this angle. I can never quite tuck my arm in the right way. Dogs are snoring now. It's a hard life. Okay, back in with your acrylic powder. So obviously this is this can be a time consuming design. If you're doing a full set of these, you'd probably want to mix things up a little bit and not do so much detail on each nail. I would definitely recommend only having an accent okay, nail in this. <laughs> yeah, I mean you could just keep it classy with the others and just go plain white or pick one of your favourite colours at the lot or alternate between the colours. Um, I really struggled finding the right kind of purple for this one. I think, I don't know, it's really, I didn't want it like a Cadbury purple, but I don't have a neon purple. I see in my head, I don't think neon purple exists. I've got like all neon pigments and there's a purple in there. And I think, I don't think there's such a thing as neon purple. Do you ever look at a purple and go, oh, that's really neon? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like you do with yellow, you look at that and you go, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's proper neon that is. Do you ever look at a purple and go... No, purple isn't a It's neon not a neon colour, is colour. it? No. <clears throat> you don't get like a purple highlighter, do you? Well, I don't know, do you? If you do, it's not a very good one. It's not the best in the pack. You go for the yellow. I do, anyway. Oh, it's like the, the orange, but then I'm an orange You're a weirdo. I mean, yeah, you're an orange person. <laughs> Not a weirdo, you're just an orange person. That's what well, I, I like green and I like orange and So you know I like my blues, but still again I I don't think I don't think such a thing as a neon blue exists. You get like bright blues and stuff, but This is a nice colour. I don't think I've used this one before. This is from the Spirit Animals. Is it Dragonfly? Yeah. I think we've used it once. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. Someone's just having a nice little dream down there. Bless him.
Stop breathing. You know you have to breathe. Do you? Mess that bit up. I'm just gonna have to roll with it. So we'll roll with it. We're all good. We're all good. Okay, and again with the acrylic powder. Remember when you put the acrylic powder on that you get enough on so you can't see any. Yeah, so obviously gel polish will kind of soak it up. So this is, I don't just put one coat on, I literally keep spooning it on. Okay, pop that one in. Okay. Right, now, now, now we get back into the makeup. Oh, I love this one. Bing, 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 bing. This one. Oh, I love this one so much. So when you open this one up, this actually looks really red, but it's not. It looks quite red, doesn't it? But once you get... Okay, there's a little bit of translucency to it. So when you actually start... Use it, especially on a white base. This is going to... Oh, I use this on a client. I've been wanting you to use this colour like, for ages. For a long time. Yeah, my client nearly screamed at me when I pulled this out on her nails. <laughs> She's like, oh my God, why have you not used this on me before? A little bit at a time because it is quite a thick colour. Look at that, look at that. See, that's neon. That is neon. You don't get that with... For me, you've got pink, orange, yellow and green. They're your true neons, aren't they? I don't know. Are they? I don't know. That's just mm -hmm. me. It's just my opinion. I definitely have a whole nail in this colour. Especially on the white, it just, just pops. It means business now, he's got the strimmer out. I'm going to have to do that, get the strimmer out to get the lawn down to then hopefully the lawnmower will work. Just want to drink cocktails and listen to Will Smith. That's what summer's about. Right, so next up, we do actually have a red, a red neon. That one's, oh, sour. I thought the sour was green. That was juicy, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, damn. What was that one then? I thought that one was orange. Oh, this is like a, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yes. I don't think it really shows how neon they are on the camera. So sour is up next. Pop that on a lamp. Give it a little dust for me, please, Sam. Thanks. I'm trying to get it in mm, shot. Yeah, no, far, can't too far, too close, far too close. Far too close. Upside down for this bit. Let's make sure I'm in shot. Am I blocking the camera? No. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, really lost it. Thank God you caught that, otherwise that whole pot well, of good job it. Good job it's thick, otherwise... I want the stood a chance. Right, 
There's my dotting towel. I've only got one more colour. I thought this was going to be a quick one. No. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll do that video for you, babe. Don't worry. It'll be a nice quick one. Bang that in for me, please. You don't realise until you get going that actually there's a lot of stop starting, isn't there? Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see this orange. It's worth it, though, isn't it? Look at this. Right, so that one was sour. And our final colour is sweet. Oh, I just made more Chinese. I'm trying to diet, Dave. Crying out loud. Okay. Give that a dust off. Right, so we're just going to add some final last little bits in this colour. That was the dog snoring, not Sam farting this time. <laughs> well, it was like the biggest old man snore ever. Oh, he is such an old man, isn't he? Bless him. <laughs> I swear he's like a 15-year-old Labrador trapped inside a four-year-old Labrador body. No interest in being a typical Labrador. Bless them. Pow. Look at that. Look at that. <coughs> okay, get that in the lamp for me, please, Sam. And that's it. We don't need any top coat. We've already top coated the the white dove. Um, and because these are flocked or embossed, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you top coat them, you'll just lose that effect and it just means that all of that time has been wasted. Um, if you wanted to, you could use your matte top coat on your white on really underneath. So the whole thing is matte. Um, I chose to do gloss just because I really like the contrast of gloss and matte next to each other. So here is your finished nail. Uh, so, so you can add as much detail as little detail as many colors as few colors just roll with it and again I'm, I'm so obsessed with just black and gray i think this would look nice in different shades of, of black and gray I'm not convinced about that purple i think that purple was a little bit too dark hmm just a touch but hey it's on it's it's done you've yep. got that for the next three weeks so um really interesting to see what people can do with this so mix it up try some different designs try some different color combinations um and don't forget to tag me in any recreations that you make on the nail Kami facebook page thanks for watching guys so i hope you enjoyed this video guys don't forget to give us a little thumbs up hit like on that video drop any comments that you've got down in the comment section below and more importantly make sure you hit subscribe so that you get a notification for all of our future videos all of the products that I've used today you can find on our website which is nailcomy.co.uk and I will see you in the next video.